all you space engineers out there, Commander Kingfish here, and I am back at Space Engineers. It's day 40 here on Planet 26, and I have to qualify this as I have somehow put my microphone on mute through the whole build, and I managed to not get any voice recording, so I'm doing a voiceover on this. So starting out uh kind of explained that uh, what uh, today is all about building uh i'm building out the uh, rest of the building here uh putting in uh, uh there's two sides left to build so everything is been done up above and so i will be doing uh, time lapse as i am trying to fill in the blanks here for you so been kind of, so I started out kind of walking around showing you know what was done and what I still had left to do uh, here on the uh, entertainment uh, area. The still have to put in the upper windows and walls and it was on these last two sides that the walls needed to be put in. The uh, and as I get a little farther along here, so I'm still kind of explaining and showing what walls I have to work on today. So you'll see that uh, this wall and then this wall here with the uh, windows has to be put in. So the other thing that I should be coming up here pretty quick and showing is uh, putting in a new charging station and that should be coming up here pretty quick. So, yep. So I uh, uh, found a mod that has uh, a charging station, which all it does is just charge you. So uh, you don't have to have a chair or run back to a medical facility in order to be able to get charged up. And this charges you up at uh, the same speed as a medical facility. Now it doesn't give you any oxygen or hydrogen and it doesn't heal you. It's just strictly a charging station, but that's all you need. And the components in it here are fairly basic. Uh, it doesn't require any medical components. As you can see, it just requires power cells, which makes sense, it's a charging station, right? So you'll see here coming up that uh, it charges much faster. Anytime now. Yeah, this is, this is the challenge of doing a voiceover. There we go. So you can see how quickly it uh, charges you up. So I'm uh, also going to be putting those around the base in some other areas because it is a kind of a nice option so that you don't have to keep running back to a medical facility. And as you can see, again, I'm talking about the uh, power cells and the basic components. So it's really kind of a, uh, you don't need uh, medical components, which requires silver. So it's something you don't need to have to worry about if you want to set this up at the beginning. So I think from uh, this point, uh, I'm going to be building away and uh, I'm going to uh, let uh, uh, catch back up with you all here a little bit uh, further on down as I get some more work done on this.
All right, I think it's about time for an update. As you can see, I am uh, got the uh, first wall on the lower floor done here. I've got all the windows in, got those painted, and you can kind of see the floodlight that I put in up above up there. I've got the armored uh, paneling across so that it uh, stays consistent across going over there. And uh, I also got the second wall started. Uh, you can see that uh, the panels are going in up there and uh, they just have to be constructed. So uh, we'll uh, continually get closer and closer uh, to having uh, the, the lower floor done. So. I think uh, that was just a bit of an update there. So uh, once uh, I get a little farther along, I'll give you uh, another update. Okay, I think it's about time for a uh, update here, and uh, I have got the sensor in, uh, I've got this lower wall done, and I've got the door in. Uh, one of the things that I was talked about in the video itself when I was making it was uh, setting up that sensor. And we're going to be doing that here pretty quick, but I was, uh, but we have the lower floor, all the walls and everything in on this lower floor. So now, uh, I'm getting ready to do the sensor. And one of the things that, uh, I need to do is turn on the field or show the sensor, uh, field range. Now, uh, when I was first looking at it, I got the cursor right on it there and I didn't see the uh, button to click. So, but I'll get it uh, figured out here pretty quick. Uh, I don't know why I just wasn't seeing it then, uh, but I certainly uh, was right there to click on to show the sensor fields. So, uh, I'm going to, let's see here, uh, go into info, and now for some reason, 
I uh, seem to see it right there in front of my nose. Right there it is. So you click that sensor range on. And then the other thing that you have to do is you go into the sensor itself. And we go up here and we get into the sensor. And if you go down and we scroll down here and it'll say show on HUD. So you click that on. And so there you go. You can kind of see the uh, field so that you know what you're dealing with and exactly uh, how large it is. And we walk outside and you can kind of barely see it there. Uh, so once you do that, then you can start setting up exactly how large you want that field to be. So you come down here and so like the top, we uh, drop it down to, I think I dropped it down to one. And see how that looks. So uh, the main thing is you wanted to drop that down so that uh, on the upper floor, you weren't triggering this door down below. So that's got that down uh, to a one block level. And we can kind of see it again out here, kind of see it. Uh, you can kind of see where it's at there, highlighted out in those blocks. So now the next thing we want to do is we want to start setting some of our other fields. And there we go. We're in and we want to, I think, do the left and right. And I think I set those at one meter each, which was just about perfect, actually. The reason you want to set these fields up is you don't want to be triggering all the time. Uh, you may not be going in and out of the door, but you might be walking by it. And if you don't have these fields set down, uh, you're going to end up triggering that door and it's going to be opening and closing on you if you're just walking by it and you don't want it to. So, uh, we're pretty satisfied, or I'm pretty satisfied with that uh, right there. So we're going to now do our front and back. And I think that's what we're going to do next. Front, yep. Yeah. Now I reduced these down to one. And... I end up adjusting that a little bit later to 1.75. Uh, it was just a little too close for the uh, front here going in and out. And so I think I do the back. Oh, I guess I adjust the front now. One point five, and I think I adjust it just a little bit more later on. Now, the back I adjusted down to one, but I didn't, or actually, so I'm doing the back and the bottom. I adjusted the bottom, and I didn't. I always kind of forget, since the sensor's up one block, it's not right at block level, I need to actually bring that down. And I think I set end up setting that at two, or maybe three, actually, I think I end up. Uh, two wasn't quite enough. So I end up going back in and setting it at three. And you'll see that that comes down almost all the way to the floor. And even if you are crouched, uh, you're going to end up triggering it. So uh, that's a perfect level for, for that. So 
we just about have our sensors all set. Again, I think I make some minor adjustments here uh, in just a little bit. If I can get and jump up and not hit the railing. And... Yeah, so I think I uh, extend that out to 1.75. And I think that's just about right. And I eventually end up doing that with the front as well. So now the other thing we've got to set up is our actions. And that's back up a little bit. Uh, had to think about it. Set up actions. Then I had to figure out which door that was. Uh, which is all the way down to the bottom. Scroll down of, of all your blocks. And it was the last door that I built. It was that one there, but I just double check it real quick. So basically, I end up uh, seeing that if you look up there, it says window door number seven. So now we can go back into our setup actions and scroll down and we're gonna grab the door and we're gonna drop it in and we're going to set it to open. And then we're going to set, grab that same door and we're going to set it to close. That way uh, it has both an open closed action uh, only triggers it uh, one way. So what you want to do is you want to open it and then as you come on through, you want it to close behind you. This way it opens and closes behind you once you have that all set up. The other thing that I did, and I don't remember if I pointed out, I should, but I did finish the stairs over there on uh, that goes up to the other level. So I think what the next thing I do is I, I'm turning off the field. So showing it's the field is still on and everything. The field is there. You're just not seeing it visibly, so uh, just I'm not showing it on the HUD. And here I am setting it up, making that final adjustment to the front. And I change it to 1.75 as well. And so that is just about right. So you're not getting bumped by the door when it opens uh, when you go up there. Uh, I think we are just about uh, ready to start doing some more work. And so I will give you, oh yeah, here I, I I point out, I think I point out the stairs over there. Yeah, so I point out that the stairs, I finish the stairs here, and then uh, what I'm going to do upstairs here. So uh, once I get a little farther along, I'll give you another update.
Ow. Yeah, I fell off. Ironically, I didn't uh, hurt myself. I still have 100% health. And... Uh, I am going to go ahead and do a update here. <clears throat> I was going to keep on building, but then I decided to go ahead and do the update. I was so close to having that uh, uh, second level floor done. So I end up kind of walking back over here and starting to look at, I had to build out the scaffolding. So I got that all done up there. So if we go up and inside and you see that the only thing I have left to do up here is those four blocks right there and then uh, the windows. So uh, I wanted to uh, kind of do a quick little update here to kind of break up the time lapse. And then uh, let's see here. I think that is about what I wanted to do on the update. And so now I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the rest of this finished up here. And then I'll catch back up with you here in just a little bit. Okay, about time for an update here. Uh, I was, uh, I had finished this upper level. I got all the walls in and I had, uh, so the windows, the walls, as you can see, I got the LCD set up uh, for the uh, movie projection. Uh, I got the safety rails in over here and I should be walking over well, there I'm talking about the LCD. Now I had, I run into a problem for some reason, my assemblers wasn't producing displays and that's, uh, you might have noticed in the time lapse coming up to this, that I was kind of wandering around and clicking on some stuff over there and couldn't figure it out. It manually produced it, let me manually produce the displays that I needed. So I've got to check that out in the next episode to see why it wasn't producing the displays. And then again, I got the rails in. Uh, so the entertainment area up there, up above, I'm gonna have 
gaming and some pool tables and some benches and seats. Down below the dining area, I'm going to have kitchens and some TVs and monitors and stuff in. And so uh, that will what we're going to end up doing in the next episode. Now, I was going to call it good right here, but then I decided I need to take all the scaffolding out since I have all the walls and everything done. So what I am going to do is uh, go ahead and take this scaffolding out and then you'll be able to see what the building looks like uh, once I get all the scaffolding pulled. So I'll give you an update here in just a little bit once the scaffolding is all pulled out. Okay, well, here's an update. As you can see, I've got the scaffolding all out. And you can see the uh, completed uh, building from the outside. Uh, it looks pretty good. And I think as we walk around the building, as uh, uh, we get kind of lucky here, I think the uh, sun starts coming up here pretty quick. I'm sitting here looking at it. I wanted to get rid of the uh, everything else so we can sit here and see what it looks like. And that sun should be coming up just any moment here. And I can see it uh, kind of coming up on the horizon over there. <clears throat> so it should be popping up here. Anyway, you can kind of see the building. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that window in there or not. I was kind of talking about that. Uh, and uh, so there it is. There's the sun kind of popping up onto the building. So I think it looks pretty good. And uh, that's uh, going to actually conclude it for uh, this uh, episode. So... Uh, Next episode, we're going to do uh, all of our decorating on the inside. So, we'll uh, call it good right there. And uh, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It uh, really will help out the video a lot. And uh, please subscribe. That'll really help the channel out. Hit that uh, bell. That will uh, remind you uh, or let you know when I am uploading new videos all the time. And uh, I am constantly doing that on a weekly basis. All right, all you space engineers out there, uh, keep building away. Keep your heads low and don't get shot. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in Energy the next low. video. Thanks for watching, everyone.